The Genghis Grill brings you the Bixby Spartan Football Coaches Show with head coach Lauren Montgomery. Welcome to this week's Coaches Show at Genghis Grill. I'm Coach Pat McGrew and we're here with the victorious head football coach of the Bixby Spartans, Coach Lauren Montgomery. Coach Montgomery, I I'm almost breath, you know, breath the song, what, what the crowd was and just the atmosphere. It was an unbelievable night. Yeah, Coach, it was a special night, military appreciation. Uh, you know, a, a lot of veterans out there, our stands were packed. Uh, you know, World War II plane flyovers, uh, the, the victory, thought our, thought our boys played extremely hard. It was just a good night all together. Well, it was a great night. It was a great night for a victory. And we talk every week uh, how important it is, you know, that, that Sunday through Thursday or Saturday through uh, Thursday getting prepared for the next week. That practice player, you've got to have great practice if you're going to have a great victory like we did Friday night. You know, tell me a little bit about who's the practice players of the week this well, week. Well, we got an interesting dynamic uh, starting to develop in practice. You know, if you're a starter on the other side of the ball, you run scout team so that we can get the very best look. Look, but this week we've got two seniors that, that play a, a tremendous amount of snaps that are scout team players of the week. And it's also a good thing we had four or five guys nominated. Um, so it's no coincidence that it's our best week of practice. But uh, the two guys we'd like to recognize, and he's already been a practice player one week, but he's gotten it again. Senior Kel Malky, starting wide receiver. And then senior Ryan King, um, you know, at safety and wide receiver. Ryan does a great job for us, starts on all our special teams. High motor guy, a program player. And so these two guys gave us a great look all week, Coach. Yeah, it was a great night for football. You know, it was a little hot, seems like, down there. It was cool up. It had a little breeze up top, but, you know, kids get getting a little bit of cramps. But, man, they were going 100%, 100% of the time. It was a great night for football, and we'll get to see that action right after this. The Bixby Spartan Football Coaches Show was brought to you by Genghis Grill, Jim Norton Toyota, Car Country, Nelson Nissan, Nelson Mazda, Matthews Ford, Midwest Sporting Goods, Arvest Bank, TTCU, Chick-fil-A, Central States Orthopedic Specialist, Henry Orthodontics, State Farm, Challenger Services, and by the Coach's Driving School. Get in the game. When it comes to safety, performance, and technology, Midwest Sporting Goods offers athletes the edge with products like Shuck football helmets, tag shoulder pads, the new 5150 BB Core baseball bat, or Nike and Under Armour apparel and shoes. Next time you suit up for a game or practice, put some Midwest best on you. Genghis Khan, you may know me from such conquests as the sacking of Yan Jing, or the famous raid of Bukhara. Good times. But here, at Genghis Grill, I've chosen to turn my efforts from burning and pillaging to more noble pursuits, like feeding and empowering. With 80 delicious fresh ingredients to build your own bowl, you can eat what you want. Could have used you at the Battle of Samarkand. Genghis Grill. We like Adam, yes we do. Adam Cash gives you $50 when you open a checking account using our school pride card. Adam Cash gives our school $50 when you open an account with a school pride card. Our school gets a donation from TTCU when you use our card. So does ours. You swipe and TTCU donates. Our card's the best! TTCU has more than 30 school pride cards for you to choose. It pays your school $50 and you $50 for getting yours. Get the best today. One place for all your insurance needs? Of course. See State Farm Agent Mark Musser. Call or stop by today. Welcome back to Genghis Grill with this week's Coaches Show. Coach Montgomery, uh, it was a great first half of action, you know. How'd you see the game? Well, you know, I tell you what, the, we talked all week about Springdale like to start fast, and uh, and they did. They came out and got after it right from the start. Love the boys, love the way our boys responded after getting scored on first. Uh, took the ball back and drove it right down their throat and answered. So, uh, so anyway, let's take a look at these first half highlights, Coach. Springdale comes out right here slinging the rock, and I believe that's J.J. Cantrell, this week's player of the week from his safety spot, coming up and putting a big hit on number eight for the Bulldogs right there. Um, little talented uh, 
sophomore running back that Springdale has showing off his wheels, burning up some angles right there, um, gets a little bit of a crease. But aside from that, we did a real nice job of containing him uh, most of the evening. Uh, a lot of pressure, Nick Roller on the sack right there, not only a good running back, also doing a good job from his defensive end position. Defense swarming the ball right there. You got Casey Sade and Cress Woodward. I love the way Grady Hannafin gets off the football right there, Coach. Just a tremendous job from his defensive line position. Um, Justin Williams getting us going right there with a big interception. Proud of Justin. Um, coming, coming back right here, that Zach Reynolds on the first carry of the game, doing a great job pounding that thing down inside. Zach, such a talented safety and running back. We're getting a lot of good work out of him. Uh, sophomore quarterback Tanner Griffin showing off his wheels right there. Um, you know, we, we give it up uh, on fourth down right there, and so we come back, and uh, Springdale has the ball right there once again. Their little running back getting the edge, but he doesn't get too much uh, right there. I think that's Casey Sade on the tackle. And then they come back, and they throw a Hail Mary, and then we have a couple good plays to slow them down here on the goal line as they're trying to run the power. I see big Austin Grotz up in the middle. I see JJ up from his safety position, just a lot of red shirts around. Um, Spartans come back right here. Nick Roller on a, on a punishing carry up inside. Zach Brown, Brandon Dyson, Oliver Pate all doing a really good job. Cade Cabanus right there from his wide receiver position, picking up some good yardage after the catch on the wide receiver screen. J.J. Cantrell lined up in the backfield at tailback. We hand, it, hand the speed sweep off to him. And then we come back right here once again, hit uh, Cade Cabanus out behind the blocking of Kyle Ryan, the wide receiver screen. Those uh, those wide receivers, they like to call themselves the Goon Squad, doing a good job out there blocking on every snap. Nick, Nick Roller right there carrying people, and then I believe on this we come back with a little toss to him on the two-point play right there. Uh, give Springdale credit, they had it covered perfect, had three guys over him, but, but it's hard to, hard to tackle Roller when he's got a full head of steam. Uh, that swarm of defense coming back right here, doing a good job getting a lot of work from a lot of guys. Braden Daniel right here uh, on the sack. I think Grady Hannafin also, they each get credit for a half sack. Good to see Good to see some juniors in there making great plays. Come back right here, Kel Malky on the little wide receiver screen, doing a good job picking up some extra yardage. Uh, Nick Roller right here on the sweep play. Uh, breaks a tackle right there and carries a few people with him. I tell you what, he's such a punishing running back, he's hard to bring down. And then we come back on the inside zone play. Uh, Jared Kerr and Brandon Dyson doing a great job sealing off that backside edge on the inside zone. Uh, Springdale coming back, trying to establish that run, uh, doing a good job. I think that was Nick Roller right there on the tackle. Falling back in right there, Austin Grotz, you know, big hit of the week, coming off the double team, blowing the ball carrier up, forcing the fumble. I mean, just a, just a tremendous football play right there. Uh, Springdale hitting that speed sweep, having to play. They do a good job running the power read, and uh, we do a good job playing some assignment football right there. Good open field tackle right there. Uh, I believe that's J.J. Cantrell doing a good job right here, getting some pressure off the edge. Adrian Micah, Austin Grotz right there on a big sack. Big Austin's tough to block one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Kyle Ryan on the interception, just an unbelievable play Kyle had there. Um, come back right here once again, getting great pressure inside. The defense swarming. Uh, Coach Flowers dialing up a few blitzes. I believe Cress Woodward gets a hit on the quarterback right there. You got JJ and you got Connor Walker in doing a good job defending. Roller spinning out of tackles right here behind the block. And uh, Jordan Johnston and big Tyler Womack, offensive line, had a real good night. Uh, Connor Walker doing a great job breaking a tackle right there, picking up some yards after catch. Con Connor got the start at corner uh, last night since Blake Cooper is going to be out for a couple weeks with a broken finger. So uh, anyway, coming back right here, Tanner Griffin doing a good job uh, throwing the wide receiver screen. Kyle Ryan, just a phenomenal experience play right there, letting his big lineman get out, setting up the screen play. Come back on the two-point play right here. Uh, Nick Roller doing a good job barreling his way in through the end zone. He, I, I tell you what, he's so strong, he's just hard to tackle. So a good first half, good way to start off. We go in 23-0 at halftime, Coach. Well, you or, know, excuse me, 23-20 at halftime. Yeah, 23-20, it, it was a really good football game. And you never knew how it was going to end because we were talking about, up, upstairs about, 
about how they look like they had the game last year and uh, we came back with a miraculous uh, victory and it seemed like uh, when, when we went in it seemed like even though it was a close game it seems like we were dominating the whole night yeah it, it, it seemed like we did I know our kids were frustrated even though we had a three-point lead they were frustrated because they knew we didn't play real clean and we'd made some mistakes and so I kind of like seeing that out of our kids just a little bit that frustration about you know going in with a lead but but still not playing right. their best right. and I think that's kind of a sign of a mature football team so well, I'll tell you second half was all Spartans and uh, we'll get to see that second half of action right after this. Genghis Khan you may know me from such conquests as the sacking of Yanjing or the famous raid of Bukhara good times but here at Genghis Grill I've chosen to turn my efforts from burning and pillaging to more noble pursuits like feeding and empowering with 80 delicious fresh ingredients to build your own bowl, you can eat what you want. Could have used you at the Battle of Samarkand. Genghis Grill. At Matthews Ford, we know what's important. Those moments in life you hold on to. To always remember and protect. Matthews Ford has a new state-of-the-art facility in Broken Arrow, where we can help our customers make more of those moments. Come by and see us today, Matthews Ford. Smart people know, huge model year in savings can be found at jimnortontoyota.com. Hurry, take 0% financing for 60 months on new 2014 Tundras. Zero for 60, or pay just $1.99 a month. $1.99 a month for a new 2014 Tundra. And get Jim Norton Toyota's biggest discounts of the year. Plus, you always get a lifetime warranty at no extra charge from Jim Norton Toyota. 98 or 9 South Memorial, where T-Town gets Toyota. Looking for free checking that isn't free of extras? It's as easy as finding your nearest Arvest bank. Our free blue checking comes with lots of features, including free online and mobile banking, and the ability to deposit a check just by taking a picture of it with your smartphone. And since it's from Arvest, you'll have the freedom of more than 240 locations and convenient hours. You shouldn't have to pay for convenience. Switch to free blue checking from Arvest Bank. Welcome back to the Coach Lauren Montgomery's football show here at Genghis Grill. Coach, you know, sometimes uh, even though there's a lot of things to, mistakes to correct, um, you know, I felt like we dominated the whole game. The players might have felt like that. You know, sometimes it's harder to go in and, and uh, make adjustments. What would you all do this time? Just a few things. We had to change up a couple of small blocking scheme adjustments and really on defense just a couple of alignments. Some of our guys were getting tight when, when they should have had a little bit better leverage. It caused them to get outflanked on a couple of speed sweeps that you saw. But but really I think the biggest thing that, that we had talked about was coming out focused and cleaning up our performance from the first half and then uh, going ahead and, and taking the game over, you know, and, and constantly, you know, we were reminding the guys of the way we were able to come back last year against them and uh, we also talked about it being a, a physical battle and a war of attrition and which team because it was extremely muggy Saturday night coach which team was going to be able to endure um, the, the rigors of a 85 degree humidity ball game so anyway let's get right in and let's take a look at these second half highlights coming back right here uh, we've been able to run the ball pretty well right here we run the zone read and, and Tanner pulls it down up inside pretty good little scheme we come back right here we hit the wide receiver screen out off the edge to Cade Cavanis. Cade's really grown just talented receiver uh, hand, hand the ball off to Roller here off the sweep and you see Roller roll, uh, lowering his head picking up some big yardage uh, coming back right here, Zach Reynolds on the sweep off the edge. That's a big 20-yard gain right there by Zach Reynolds. You know, we had three backs the other night that averaged over seven and a half yards of carry, and that's a that's a big deal for us. Tanner Griffin scrambles around and finds Cade Cavanis open uh, down near our end zone. And we come back, and Ryan Matthews punches in the zone play uh, behind the blocking of Zach Brown and Brandon Dyson. Such a good play right there coming back. Springdale trying to get something going. Our, our kickoff team pinned him deep. J.J. Cantrell, Casey Sade, Austin Grotz, a lot of single digits there in on the tackles. They, they throw the swing pass out of their end zone. We got great pursuit right there. Just phenomenal play. 
by J.J. Cantrell. I believe Chris Woodward in, the, in on that. We come back, we run the stretch play to Nick out off the left side behind Dyson and Brown once again. Those guys doing a great job right there, uh, picking up their reach blocks, um, giving, giving Roller a short edge. And right now our guys are doing a good job running the zone play. Uh, Roller's doing a good job, has a feel for when to cut it back. So does sophomore Ryan Matthews that you see a dose of. To come back right here, we throw the wide receiver screen out to Cade Cabanis. Cade lowers his head and does a good job being strong, staying in bounds, picking up the uh, touchdown right Right here. You see a lot of guys in on the tackle right here. Chris Woodward, uh, Casey Say, Jed Stinson. Uh, a lot of guys in on the power read right there. Uh, right there, Chris Woodward in on the tackle. Braden Daniel in on that tackle. Just swarming red uh, defense, which is exactly what we want right there. Had a lot of tackles for losses right there. That was, that was a great play. Uh, I think we got flagged for grabbing underneath or grabbing the back of the helmet. Cody Adams in on that tackle that you'll see. Running the, running the quarterback stretch uh, power read play. Um, that's what they hang their hat on. And we come back right here, hand off the sweep to J.J. Cantrell. J.J. doing a good job picking up positive yards out off the left edge. He's having a good night. Come back, sophomore Ryan, or excuse me, I believe that's Big Nick. That's Big Nick roller right there picking up some good yardage up inside and then we come back and hand it off to sophomore Ryan Matthews. He, Ryan did a great job the other night, averaged seven and a half yards a carry. Tanner drops back, throws a great dig pattern right there underneath to Kyle Ryan. Kyle doing a good job setting up some blocks and I thought Kyle was going to get in the end zone. Anytime he gets that much grass, he usually does a pretty good job getting in. Ryan Matthews right there hitting the inside zone play, doing a good job up inside behind the blocking of Jordan Johnston. And then Matthews right there scores on the inside zone play. So young sophomore showing some speed uh, a good burst and, and it's nice to have those young guys that can come in especially on a hot growing night and, and spell some guys give some guys some relief uh, Jared Kerr Jed Stinson uh, both in on that sack right there Grady Hannafin I think was also in on it good to see that defensive line up there eating right there you got Justin Williams from his corner position making a great play right there it's good to see those guys in the defensive backfield playing so well Ryan Matthews right here running the stretch play out over the edge Picking up good yardage behind the block and all over Pate, Tyler Womack. Coming back with a stretch play the other way. That zone looked really, really good the other night, especially with those guys wearing those uh, American flag decals on their hats. Those are really nice. We come back, throw the wide receiver screen out to Connor Walker right here in the fourth quarter and uh, and doing a good job being able to run the football when we need to run the clock out. Chris Woodward, what a phenomenal play. See Matt Newman out on the field doing a good job from his safety spot. See Jeff Shemansky in here, senior in on the tackle, making a great play right there. Uh, right here, Springdale threatening to punch it in right there. Uh, do a great job causing, causing a fumble, recovering a fumble. What a big play right there to keep those guys out of the end zone. Keep some extra points off the, off the board. Coach, proud of the guys, proud of the way we responded in the second half. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. You know, coming out, uh, Springdale had 295 yards of total offense to our 451 yards. 451 yards is a big night of offense. Uh, we were 12 of 21 passing for 168 yards. Springdale was 20 of 33 for 280. Most of their yards coming on the ground. Uh, we have 45 rushes for 283 yards to Springdale's 30 rushes for 15. Held them to half a yard rushing. And leading rushing for us, Nick Roller had 20 rushes for 150 yards. Ryan Matthews had 12 for 86 yards. Zach Reynolds had four great carries for 30 yards. Uh, receiving, Cade Cabanis leading all receivers with five receptions for 67 yards. Kyle Ryan, three receptions for 56 yards. Connor Walker, one good reception for 34, uh, 34 yards. Uh, defensive stats, um, this week J.J. Cantrell, our player of the week, 16 tackles. They had a great night on special teams, had a great night on defense. Casey Sade, 13 tackles, a half a sack. Chris Woodward, nine tackles. Braden Daniel, two tackles, one and a half sacks. So just a great night all together in the statistics category and we got that one statistic that makes a big difference at W. <laughs> wow. It was a great night, uh, obviously for all Spartan fans. Uh, it was a great atmosphere. I love seeing that red, white, and blue all over the place, especially that red or blue. It, it was all over the stands, Coach, and it was packed, and I'm sure your kids uh, recognized that. Yeah, the kids kids loved it. They loved the way the home crowd was behind them. And I tell you, when you looked up there, there weren't any empty seats. So <laughs> it, was a, it was a full house. 
Well, it's great. And, you know, it's hard to pick one player that might be the outstanding player of the week. But, boy, I tell you what, you look at J.J. Cantrell, senior, you know, that what he has contributed as a car country player of the week. So, you know, I, I know you might not be able to pick one, but, boy, he sure is a great one to pick for this game. What a great kid. We're, and when we get back, we'll get to hear from J.J. All right, we'll see you right after this. One place for all your insurance needs? Of course, see State Farm Agent Mark Musser. Call or stop by today. Genghis Khan, you may know me from such conquests as the sacking of Yanjing or the famous raid of Bukhara. Good times. But here, at Genghis Grill, I've chosen to turn my efforts from burning and pillaging to more noble pursuits like feeding and empowering. With 80 delicious fresh ingredients to build your own bowl, you can eat what you want. Could have used you at the Battle of Samarkand. Genghis Grill. Are you Marcus Dupree? Marcus Dupree? What's up, man? Woo! It's Dupree. Marcus Dupree plays for Car Country now. Dupree 24 month warranty. Dupree oil changes for life. Dupree roadside assistance. Man, I could have spent 45 grand at one of them big dealerships. <laughs> now, what's your credit score? <laughs> I could have played in the NFL. <laughs> Locations in Big Speed, Broken Arrow, Bartlesville, no. Claremore, and Sepulpa. <laughs> Take advantage of Marcus Dupree. It's Dupree. You, me, and Marcus Dupree at Car Country by Nelson. Senior J.J. Cantrell, this week's Car Country Player of the Week. J.J. not only had 16 tackles, incredible special team plays, but J.J. Cantrell, like I said, is this week's Car Country Player of the Week. J.J., it seems like uh, you've been playing forever. You know, uh, you tell me a little something about it. To me, you know, I always, Coach Montgomery and I always talk about this. This is a special senior group that you have. You know, tell me a little bit about you guys. Well, we've been playing together since second, third grade. We've won several championships together, just in youth football together. We've been playing. I just we know how each other play. We know our strengths and weaknesses, and we can kind of just base our play off of each other's, and like we can trust each other on and off the field, and it's just a great mix. Well, you saw Friday night, and every week that you guys play, uh, you know, it's everybody hustles 100 percent, 100 percent of the time. So, congratulations on that. You know, looking outside, say, you know, we're looking for that gold ball, but, but beyond that gold ball, you're you're graduating. What is J.J. Cantrell's, what, what do you plan on doing after you graduate? Uh, I plan on attending, I think, Oklahoma State College, and I think I'm going to pursue a degree in engineering. And unless some great opportunity for football presents itself, that's what I'm planning on doing. Well, I tell you right now, I know Coach Montgomery talks you about it, but as a fan, uh, I want to thank you for everything you've done for Spartan football, and I really believe this is this is that year we're going to go get that gold ball. Absolutely. Congratulations on a great career. Good luck on the rest of the season, Thanks and good so luck much. to the rest of your life. <laughs> You're a you. great young man. Thank you so well, much. Well, I tell you what, the Spartans have really been playing well the last two weeks, and we're looking forward to that district action to start coming this Friday. And we'll see J.J. Cantrell and the rest of the seniors and the rest of the Spartans. And we'll be right back after this with the Nelson Mazda Youth Team of the Week right after this. Are you Marcus Dupree? Marcus Dupree? What's up, man? Woo! It's Dupree. Marcus Dupree plays for Car Country now. Dupree 24-month warranty. Dupree oil changes for life. Dupree roadside assistance. Man, I could have spent 45 grand at one of them big dealerships. <laughs> now what's your credit score? <laughs> I could have played in the NFL. <laughs> Locations in Big Speed, Broken Arrow, Bartlesville, no. Claremore, and Sepulpa. <laughs> Take advantage of Marcus Dupree. It's Dupree. You, me, and Marcus Dupree at Car Country by Nelson. Genghis Khan, you may know me from such conquests as the sacking of Yanjing or the famous raid of Bukhara. Good times. But here, at Genghis Grill, I've chosen to turn my efforts from burning and pillaging to more noble pursuits like feeding and empowering. With 80 delicious fresh ingredients to build your own bowl, you can eat what you want. Could have used you at the Battle of Samarkand. Genghis Grill. Smart people know huge model year in savings can be found at JimNortonToyota.com. 
hurry. Take 0% financing for 60 months on new 2014 Tundras. Zero for 60 or pay just $199 a month. $199 a month for a new 2014 Tundra. And get Jim Norton Toyota's biggest discounts of the year. Plus, you always get a lifetime warranty at no extra charge from Jim Norton Toyota. 9809 South Memorial, where T-Town gets Toyota. <laughs> One place for all your insurance needs? Of course. See State Farm Agent Mark Musser. Call or stop by today. At Matthews Ford, we know what's important. Those moments in life you hold on to. To always remember and protect. Matthews Ford has a new state-of-the-art facility in Broken Arrow where we can help our customers make more of those moments. Come by and see us today, Matthews Ford. Welcome back to Nelson's Mazda, Youth Team of the Week. Bigsby fifth grade blue, Coach Portelli, two and two, and looking for another big victory next week. Coach Portelli, you know, tell me a little bit about this fifth grade blue. It's, you know, and I'll tell you what, that youth football, that organization is tough, but you've got your two for two, looking um, to get back in those playoffs. Uh, we are. We, uh, we're about batting 500 right now. i got some great kids. I've been coaching them. A lot of these kids have been coaching since they were in flag football. So great families, great kids, a lot of great athletes on the team. Uh, they're all motivated and excited. Uh, I think we have a good shot, good chance of making the playoffs this year. So they're just working real hard every week and uh, getting ready for Coweta coming up this next week, Coweta Black. Well, that's always a great uh, victory. If you can beat those Coweta Tigers, they're always a good organization. Coach McCarty, uh, Coach uh, Warren Montgomery always talks about the youth program being, you know, the, the base of everything, and uh, we, we appreciate everything that you've done and the rest of the youth organization. It's just great to go out there. I was out there yesterday and uh, watched the, the seventh grade play, and it's just great to see all those players in Big Speed come together. It is. All the coaches, you know, it, can't speak for all the coaches in the whole program, but at least for the, the, big, the fifth grade uh, coaches. You know, our whole theme is we want to keep the kids in the program as long as possible. We want to keep them all, uh, let them all get an opportunity to play. We even added a fourth team this year, so we keep our team sizes down to about 17 kids a team, so that everyone's getting a good opportunity to play and stay in the program because they all develop and they all, you know, at different times. So we want to keep them in as long as possible so that Coach Montgomery is going to have a whole, a whole pool of kids to uh, pick from when they get to high school. Now, I know Coach Montgomery talks about it all the time. You know, good luck this coming week, uh, Saturday, uh, to get another victory, and uh, my I guess we'll probably see you in a few years up there uh, with the, the high school Spartans, and we'll get to talk a little bit more about that. But uh, what a great week of football this was. We got the youth programs all coming up, outstanding teams. We had the, the eighth grade and the ninth grade uh, at the Spartan level are doing great. I'll tell you what, let's all go and reach for that gold ball this year with Coach Montgomery and his great staff and the Spartans of Big Speed. And we'll come back next week with another victory for you. We'll see you later. The Big Speed Spartan Football Coaches Show was brought to you by Genghis Grill, Jim Norton Toyota, Car Country, Nelson Nissan, Nelson Mazda, Matthews Ford, Midwest Sporting Goods, Arvest Bank, TTCU, Chick-fil-A, Central States Orthopedic Specialist, Henry Orthodontics, State Farm, Challenger Services, and by the Coaches Driving School. Get in the game.